Hey, it's Vincent Harris of Harris Media, and it's awesome to be here at the VidCon conference in Anaheim, California, as a guest of Google. The VidCon conference brings uh, YouTube content creators, people that have YouTube channels with large subscriptions who are out there creating their own content every single day together. And it allows folks who consume that content uh, at, the, at the grassroots level to engage with those people, as well as people from the industry from the media industry, from the advertising industry, to connect with those, those content creators as well and figure out how their brands can work in unison with those individual pieces of content, you know. It was awesome to hear from a woman this morning who said that when she wakes up, she doesn't even have cable, and her main source of news and information are YouTube channels that she subscribes to. And I think we in uh, politics, especially in Republican politics, are pretty far off in really understanding this type of voter, these off-the-grid voters who, are, who aren't consuming news on Fox News, who aren't consuming news on CNN or MSNBC, who don't even watch broadcast television. These are people where the internet is the number one source of news and information. And what are we in the Republican Party doing to create unique content for these people? I think the Republican Party overall is still pretty behind in terms of how we are generating content, even in terms of staff structures on a lot of these campaigns, in terms of staff structures of uh, do we have enough people who, who can create these videos? Do we have enough people who can film our candidates, who can be out there with the candidates, who are filming videos in new and interesting and, and creative and innovative ways? Because you know, the, the beautiful thing about the internet is there's so many options. There's so many choices for voters to, to spring to if they don't like the kind of content that they're actually seeing that's in front of them. They can simply X out and skip and move to something else. So it's been really great to, to hear from some of these content creators. It's so the average person at VidCon is between 14 and 17 years old and they've been raised on these, these individual YouTube stars, these content creators who have used the internet to become famous. And as a Republican Party, I think it's very obvious that we can't expect to continue our model of creating two or three television ads and putting them online and expecting this generation to be okay with that as our main form of communication. We are going to have to get more creative and we're going to have to fundamentally change our mechanism of how we are creating content on campaigns and as a party. I just got back from the keynote speech here at VidCon. YouTube CEO gave it. She did a wonderful job and got the crowd really excited talking about the future of the platform. She said that YouTube had three main priorities over the next few years, mobile, mobile, and mobile. And it's interesting as, as us in Republican politics, how can we use mobile to deliver our message, sometimes more complex messages, to people that are 17, 18, 19, etc., who are using mobile devices as their number one form of communication as their number one form of news and information. I think we're going to have to rethink and keep challenging each other on delivering content in, in more interesting and unique and entertaining ways or else we're just not going to reach these people. So thanks again Google for the invitation here and Jeffrey and Ali J for hosting us. It's, it's been a wonderful time.